left is Hamlet by William Shakespeare. That's it. Hamlet is a marvelous play. But Hecuba puts on musicals. We can put it to music. Hamlet to music? Sure, we could call it Hamlet a go-go. <laughs> it has sword fights, murder, skulls, even ghosts. How does that sound? Sounds like Spielberg. <laughs> Sounds like Shakespeare. Sounds like a loser. I am finally, finally directing my life's dream. The greatest play ever written. The Rocky Horror Show. <laughs> hey, the second greatest. Hamlet. <laughs> Rando was going to do our church play for us. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but uh, we're doing Hamlet. And, and we'd rather get you to do the lead. Yeah. Replacing Rando. You probably saw me in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. And what perchance would that be? That would be a play, Charlie. A real play. What are you, a Tennessee knocker? It's just one question. Who's Hamlet? It might be helpful to some of you if I explain what you're about to see. Well, I wonder who she's talking about, not I'm going to do Shakespeare with Orson Welles. Oh, how exciting. Yes, isn't it? Here it is. Macbeth's ghost forces theater to close. <laughs> the ghost of Macbeth? Sounds like a great cover story for the magazine. Interesting. An Arcturian Macbeth. Watch him. Watch Macbeth. What are you watching? Oh, it's, it's Hamlet with Lawrence Oliver. Yeah. I've watched it three times already. Huh. I like the way he makes his voice go up and down like that. Ophelia! Aye, my lord? These fair gentlemen are constables and wish to speak with you in matters regarding the murder most foul and unnatural of Zane Cannon. Tis too much to bear to think on it. Danish pastry for two, for me. In truth, Othea, you have said a mouthful. I can't do it here. Uh, the line is, Marcia, or if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer... What's the difference? Well, you're changing a lot of words here, Marcia. I just don't feel right saying them the other way. But if you change the words, you also change the meaning. I have to say them word for word? Well, I think it'd be a little difficult to improve on Shakespeare, don't you? <laughs> and how are you going to improve the greatest play in English literature? Well, for starters, let's set this thing in a burning skyscraper. <laughs> then I could do sort of a Bruce Willis thing, you know? To be or not to be? That is the question. Wrong play. Now is the winter of our discontent made glorious. Wrong play. I was just trying to score some points with my girlfriend. Is that too much to ask? Romeo and Juliet is a Shakespearean tragedy. It has nothing to do with a horny teenager and his girlfriend. I can't do it. What thou talkest about, Juliet? <laughs> Keep going. Uh, Juliet, I think you were going to say... But what's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name is <laughs> more sweet. Call me but love. And I'll be new baptized. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. Now our fathers hate each other and will never let us marry. We don't know what to do. Well, as their official princess, maybe I can do something to stop this. Their fathers have forbidden them to see each other. Their fathers have a good point. Richard, it should go like this. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief. That thou her maid, since she is envious, her vestal livery is but sick and green. <laughs> he has my dying voice. The rest is silent. <laughs> Mercutio is dead. A plague above your houses! 
but they have made worms meat of me! Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love and I'll no longer be a Capulet. What do you think, Mr. Wells? Uh, well, there. Had, had its moments. <laughs> Hamlet's father is killed by his brother, who then takes the throne and marries the dead brother's wife. There's a reason they say Shakespeare endures. This is a real life Hamlet. That is the question. That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of trouble and by opposing end them. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows. Wait a minute. Will you wake up? This is important stuff here. I mean, let me tell you what's happening. Hamlet, that's me, is thinking about taking the big dive. Can you dig it? Dagger. Good lady, thou art mistaken. A gentleman never unsheaths his dagger before he is married. Oh. I bit my dagger. As wise as you are, beautiful. Oh, how I do love you. Oh, how I do love you. Enough of this. Come, we will tell my king Oberon of this. Your understudy is going to play Juliet. Tina. But I'm better than her. Marsh, it has nothing to do with your being better than she is. It's your attitude. What do you mean, my attitude? Well, the, you become rude to your friends and your family. You, you become impossible to live with. Mom, you're being unfair. But you brought all of this on yourself. I'm sorry. Mom! Hamlet, dear, your problem is clear, avenging thy father's death. You seek to harm your uncle and mom, but you're scaring me to death. You went for the easy laugh, a total cop-out. <laughs> but very funny. But uh, don't quit your day job just yet. And you're going to do this again, both of you. Only next time, uh, do it straight. Hasten, <laughs> oh, Romeo Rock, depart. One kiss, and I will descend. Hey, yo, uh, let's skip that part, Alfred. You know it. I have avoided thee. But get thee back. My soul is too much charged with blood of thine already. I have no words. My voice is in my sword. Thou bloodier villain than terms can give thee out. Stick em, stick em. <laughs> There's a real murderous intensity about it. Then heaven have mercy on me. Think on thy sins. Sam, are you sure she's okay? Yeah, sure. She's just acting, coach. Well, shouldn't you make sure? Or can you imagine what she'd say if I butted in on her Shakespeare scene? Take heed of perjury. Thou art on my deathbed. I was cruel and yet merciful. Become a floating tomb, drifting through space. No! Caesar, beware the Ides of March. No, child, no! Oh! Fred, uh, Romeo Rock. Barney, careful! What a showstopper! <laughs> <laughs>
You know, I'm not so sure that Shakespeare would appreciate it, but I liked it. Although I'm scared to admit that Fonzie helped me to like Shakespeare.